Hello guys, welcome back to Good Try Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about the latest Android 11's Google Camera 7.5.107 APK and what's new features which we are having right now in this. Right? So I'll be providing link in the description to this article where you can refer more and also I'll be providing link in the description so that you can download this one. Right? So let's get started. So first one, it's all about the new audio zoom quality and you may be wondering what is this actually? So I'm here to help you out. So first you have to go to the video, right? Usually we used to take capture videos, right? So the audio zoom is just like the name indicates, it is capturing the audio when you are zooming into some particular position and you want to capture something, right? When you're shooting something, imagine that you're shooting something and that particular positions or that snaps audio will be completely zoomed in and it will be recorded and rest others will be completely muted off right so this is what it is and i have tried a couple of times here and it all works good and you have to try this out and if you wanted to make it up what you have to do is these are the options which you can zoom in right for example when you're recording something for example let me show you when you wanted to record something you have to zoom in right at the moment what happens is this particular scenarios what are the surroundings noises are there those will be zoomed in and the rest things will be completely made reduce a little down right so that is about zoom in option the first one what you're having right now right the audio zoom quality it works really good and i have tried a couple of times since all good right so that is about audio zoom and next one is all about the flash intensity which i wanted to talk right so the flash intensity is as of now it is not available because we are expecting this will be available in the official versions and but in the fourth for the time being it is not available actually as you can see we have three options you have to completely quit the flash which i have done already then you can go for automatic flash then we have the flash on every single time when you are capturing photos but the time being the flash intensity or controlling the flash intensity hasn't enabled but in the official version this will be available where what happens is the flash will be completely controlled depending on the light and the opacity which is occurring across the across the particular object which are trying to capture the image as well as on the surroundings the flash will be completely automatically done according to the intensity of what we are having across it that is about the flash intensity which i have to talk moving on we have to talk about is uh, the motion blur which i have to speak about very grace because uh, the motion blur is an effect which we are having in the dslr as we know that right so in the motion uh, it is available the motion blur effect is available both in the camera as well as when you are moving to the portrait also it is available it is not for the selfies but for the rear camera it is available where you can capture the photos with the motion blur effect which is usually seen in the dslr cam cameras and i must say that it is a great feature which we put forward from the google and it works really good because we are hoping that it works really good and it, it will help us to get some snappy shots right so that's over when it comes to it then also you can get the motion here it is enabled right as you can see you can enable the motion which it is available both in the camera as well as in the portrait also it is available in the portrait in with both the, both the two you can enable the motion blur and you can capture according to it right so that's about it and moving on the next which i wanted to talk about is the video sharing option and you may be wondering what is actually video sharing video sharing is for example you are capturing something imagine that you are capturing something in between and the moment you capture you have an option here which you have to click where you can add the list of social medias where you wanted to capture directly from here itself right here i have only added the whatsapp and i wanted to show you more so that let's go for the plus button and these are the available social medias which you wanted to add for example i have already done the whatsapp and we can go for instagram let me add a snapchat too right so these are the things which i wanted to add then you have to go, go back right let us go back to the camera and i'm going to show you how it works once you're done with this just tap here and as you can see that all the relevant three social media platforms are available right now so they can transfer the photos directly from here itself which is whatsapp instagram and the snaps right snapchat so these are the main attractive features we are having in the google's latest version right 7.5.107 apk right these are the available versions which we have so far and i really say that all these are looking good and it is extremely great so far and we are hoping this is available more in the more updates will be popping up in the coming days and also i wanted to make you notice uh, these are something very great exactly for me that's all about it and do let us know what you what's are your thought for, uh, regarding this in the comment section so that we can definitely have a chat over there and any kind of suggestions are most welcome in the comment section so that we can improve ourselves and this is shahin signing off from get your tips don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification keep practice social distancing see you soon in the next video peace out